Hello, my friends. Welcome, welcome. So glad that you're here. We're going to be starting off with a little bit of a promotional piece on what Rave ABCs, the program is, and then I'm going to take you on an exciting journey, learning about the language of human design and helping you with some of the definitions, some terms, so that we can get familiar with how all of this works. It's really helpful that we have a commonality of understanding the language. So. Welcome, my friends, to Rave ABCs. This is about the Human Design System. It's an International Human Design School Foundation course, and all types are welcome in this course. So manifestors, generators, and manifesting generators, as well as projectors and reflectors are welcome to join us. With Rave ABCs, we have three actual foundations of human design that reveal the mechanics of how it all works. So we have this dualistic energetic structure that's built into life, our red and our black. And that's one of the things that we're going to dive into when it comes to you and your charts, how all of that works, as well as talk about the movement of energy through the structure of the body graph. So we'll talk about circuits, the basic circuitry, as well as an introduction to the channels from the perspective of where they lay within that circuit group, whatever it is that we happen to be looking at. And then the C of the ABCs are the structure of the hexagram qualities here the line values itself from the basic understanding of the structure and how that works so that we can grasp the movement of circuits and channels. We also need to understand where they're coming from, the centers. So you should have a basis of understanding of centers from your living your design awakening experience. And we're going to reinforce type, strategy, and authority in this class. Although we won't have a specific class on it, we will talk about the channel nature from a type perspective when we get there. And in this IHGS Foundation course, we're going to have eight hours of classes approximately. There's going to be lectures and homework and interaction in our live classes. We do encourage that you have a study buddy to go through this experience. So if you are learning especially how to do this from the professional perspective, we do encourage that you work together with each other. Some of the best friends that you can make in the human design deconditioning experience are about being able to speak the language with a friend and decondition. And that's one of the nice things about these live classes so that you can engage and interact. Now, when it comes to taking this class, you will have needed to take Living Your Design as Awakening Experience. And Natalie is one of the IHDS certified analysts that actually does foundation readings. You can see anyone at the IHDS that's a certified analyst. Many of us are independent. We work for ourselves. We have our own practice. And as long as your analyst is listed as currently certified by the IHDS, that will help you pass the required foundation analysis activity in order for you to take this course so that you're very well versed in your own design. Because here with ABCs, we're looking into how do we start working with this information with others as well. So it's an empowering extension of living your design. So we'll introduce the ABCs, just as I mentioned as well as review the synthesis of the component structure of what human design is all about. And we'll talk about the crystals of consciousness and learn the basics of the ABCs. A, for red and black. B, introduction to circuitry and channels. And C, the basic hexagram line values as well as the hexagram structure. So our goals for this class is to help you understand your chart at a deeper level, as well as see and understand the synthesis of human design, begin integrating the elements into very basic keynoting. You're going to begin to practice the art of keynoting charts, the poetry of keynoting. That sounds like fun for you. You're in the right place. Now, what's not covered are some higher level course materials. I'll tell you what that is. We are not going to go into deep profile analysis or detailed channel descriptions or the biology of the centers because that's the next step in rave cartography. And then in analyst training, if that's what you'd like to go into, we're not going to cover the complete rave I Ching 
gate nor line full value descriptions because that's another uh, year of training. Planetary descriptions and analysis comes in level two of the Human Design Analyst Certification. And incarnation cross analysis comes in level three. So if you want any information on that, that's what your foundation analysis is going to give you a good start on. And then you can get a, well, if we go back here, actually, you can get a connection chart analysis or a cycles analysis from an analyst, as well as an incarnation cross analysis from any certified IHGS analyst. Now there are some requirements in order to continue on in this journey beyond today. We're going to start in two weeks and we do have some required reading for you in order that you get uh, supported in the topics and the discussion and get the most out of our live classes together. So this is the Rave ABC student manual. When you sign up, we'll send you the link to go and get that. And actually this handout also has the link that you can click on. If you're a part of the course, you will get the full handout. And in order of reading the topics, we have an introduction, human design synthesis. You'll read on page nine about the design personality and monopole and further about the crystals of consciousness, which is what those are here. Then we'll go into on page 14, roads and tunnels the circuit groups on 17, and circuits on page 22, and hexagram structure on page 33. This is about a $30 book. And today I'm going to take you through some of the definitions of these terms so that you're well prepared for speaking the language with us. Now I want to tell you, one of the benefits of human design is it is crazy how radically you can change in this experiment. And so the benefit of human design is about the alchemy of being yourself. It really truly is. So gaining an understanding of yourself in relational context to the world is such a gift so that you can let go of anything that's holding you back. Because human design, when you experiment with it, it reveals your role, your unique role within the totality of life existence. And it shows you how to allow your life purpose to flow through you because you don't have to go and find it. You're already a living, breathing example of what it's like to be yourself. It's just that your mind in the beginning is distracted by or distorted by all those things that are actually not unique or true to you. And when you come into alignment with making decisions that you can trust, you can start to let that stuff go. And whenever you let go of those things that are unhealthy for you, you can find a better way forward. You can feel better about your life experience, better about your decision making. It's actually all about correct action. That's Buddha's term. Being in the flow of life or right action is another thing that the ancient rave eaching or ancient I Ching, we have the Rave I Ching, the ancient I Ching would talk about right action, or the superior man, you know, the superior man. It's very uh, ancient way of saying things. But from the perspective, our modern day perspective of being in the flow of your own life and your own purpose and your own calling, finding your own meaning, it's all about making decisions as yourself. So when you let your strategy and honor your authority be your compass, your navigational tool, you surrender to your body because your body is the life. Now we are pointed in the right direction, not as in good, but as aligned and in the right environment, the aligned environment with the right people, meaning the aligned people, not good, aligned. And that my friends, is what makes the difference. Rather than going out and trying to look for it, your life purpose naturally emerges. You don't find it. It actually finds you. You live it. It becomes you, your nature, your purpose, and your gifts just unfolding naturally. Rather than having to desperately try to seek or find anything, you already have everything inside of yourself that you need. You don't need to go outside of you, but sometimes you need guides or, you know, somebody to advise or impact you with regards to how this all works and to help you guide you back home to yourself. Then we have action from harmony, right action as an aligned action from harmony. That's the biggest 
benefit from human design is right action. And then from that, what happens is your relationships improve, your life experience improves, sometimes your finances will improve, you're not necessarily looking for that, but it's just a natural byproduct where I would say your sex life improves. <laughs> I can attest to that as well myself. So the benefits of human design is it explains and enhances how our bodies work and how we're designed as human beings so that your cognition, something deep inside of you that makes you utterly unique, can start to work properly. As well as when you operate correctly, what happens is you change the frequency of your being and your life to what it's supposed to be. So in context to accepting oneself unconditionally and loving yourself, it's a natural byproduct of living life in alignment that comes at some point in time. May not come in seven years, but in seven years, you get a body that's more relaxed. And what that does is it reveals your personal place, identity, role, direction, your ability to love yourself or accept yourself. Just be aware of yourself, like really, truly what you are. The mechanics can show you the way when you experiment with being your own authority because it offers an accurate mapping of the conditioned mind. What that does is show you the shadows that your conditioned, distorted mental thought process throws on your reality, the contextual reality of what you're living in this life. So when you let go of the conditioned mind, we can see through the lies it makes such a difference because it gives you a reason of why it's so important to experiment with being your own authority, as in making decisions you can trust from your body because your body is the life. And so human design offers you a means to transform that conditioned mind to one that nurtures you instead of you feeling pain because you believe the lie of the mind. Instead of it causing you pain, Ra would say that only the not self suffers, you know, the mind, it's distorted reality. So I encourage you, if you feel drawn to this, to sign up 